What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nate, I own a custom integration company, meaning I help people implement technology into their homes and businesses. In this week's video, we have some awesome Ubiquiti equipment going out. Uh, we have a deployment where we are taking internet from the main building and we are shooting it out to the wedding venue that is behind it. We're gonna accomplish that by using the NanoBeam 5AC, uh, a cloud key plus, as well as a few different Ubiquiti switches to make it all happen. Now, as always, if you are not new to the channel, any products that we use will be linked in the description below. We do have a Ubiquity affiliate code. If you use that link, it helps our channel out a ton. Also on our site, we have all sorts of different guides specifically with Ubiquity equipment or just smart home wiring in general. If you're building a new house and you're looking to incorporate some of this technology into your own home, make sure to check out that link below. All right, we're gonna unpack some of the products that we're gonna talk about in this video. My goal with this is not necessarily to show you how all of the equipment works, but how it's set up. Um, from someone in our position as installation technicians, it always drives me crazy when there's not enough information out there of what the product actually looks like or how it's physically installed. Uh, there's plenty of information out there of how to program it or how to make it work, but we always need to know how it actually gets installed because at the end of the day, we're the ones doing it. I'll also give you the backstory of this project. The client had a massive chicken coop that they turned into a beautiful wedding venue. We did all the pre-wire when it was originally built, uh, including all the AV, which I'll include in next week's videos. We have a bunch of JBL monitors, a whole 70 volt distributed audio system, all powered by a crown amp, uh, which is where all of this equipment will end up living to give Wi-Fi distribution in that wedding venue as well. So this is your P2P unit. So you're gonna always buy two of them. The second one is gonna be your sender, one is gonna be receiving. Um, it has, like I showed in that clip there, we have main PoE in and then PoE out uh, plus data. It does come with a little bubble level built into the back so you can always make sure you're lined up. Uh, again, another important piece is you have to have clear line of sight for this to work. Um, if you don't plan on utilizing the quick mount, it does come with hose clamps. Uh, if you're gonna mount this to a pole that uh, you could utilize, the, Ubiqu or the P2P comes with a mount um, that will slot into this back piece here. But we really like this quick mount um, because it gives us so much flexibility of how we mount it. Um, they call it toolless because you can just take this and screw this lag screw directly into whatever wood you're gonna hop in real quick with a self-serving ad in here. So we've talked about it in videos previously. We make all sorts of different Ubiquiti accessories on our 3D printers. Uh, we have patch panel blanks that come in multiples of different colors. Make sure to check those out. On the other side that is not attached to technology, Ubiquity, any of those types of products, we do make all sorts of fun fidgeting, desk toys or sensory toys. Uh, we have an entire collection of different types of items on there. So maybe you want something for your desk, maybe your kids want a fridge magnet or a keychain or whatever it is. Make sure to check out the link in our description for any of our 3D printed products. Anyone who comes from our YouTube page from Teaching Technology, you get 10% off of anything. You can use the code Teaching Technology uh, on our site and you will get 10% off any of your orders. Let's get back to the video. Working with, um, my only gripe with the quick mount is there is no cable pathway in it for your cable. So typically we are running conduit up to a junction box and then this is getting mounted to the exterior of the junction box or directly next to it. Um, so if you're running cable through conduit, you're gonna wanna use outdoor cable regardless, uh, but there, there is no path, unless I'm wrong, tell me in the comments, I would love to know, uh, we do use these frequently, but there just is no path for the cable to move through this mount, uh, which would be really nice. Um, I'll put a clip up of an example one that we did recently. Obviously, our next video is gonna be us installing this, so you'll see it then, but if you happen to just catch this video, I'll put a clip there where I'm talking about, you end up with a loop of cable below it, which isn't the worst thing. Again, you should be using outdoor cable, but that's how it goes. So this has multiple points of pivoting and axis. Um, to install it, you just flip it 
right side up like this. We typically will pre-drill a hole uh, slightly smaller than this when we're going into wood, but then you can literally just spin this in and then you have all of your points of change right on this. On the back side here, you are going to, you get a lock nut that has a um, flat spot in it, which lines up directly with the flat spot on this piece. You, it comes with a locking collar, so you are just going to put that through like that so it is locked and you can release right on the back if you need to adjust your angle at all. And then on your quick mount, you're going to loosen the top section here. And now you have the ability to point this in a multitude of different directions to make sure that you're lining up everywhere that you need to be so that you're shooting a direct line of sight between one and your second one. Um, the nano beam is not set up through the standard ubiquity app you're going to use the uisp app to set it up it is completely standalone so if you are not using ubiquity equipment uh, on the other end so like you're not using a cloud key you're not using a dream machine pro um, a dream machine se any of their gateways you can still use the p2p system um, and integrate it into just about any router firewall whatever you're using so that is the nice piece about this. It is a completely standalone setup. Uh, there are tons of videos on YouTube already on how to set this up, so I won't recreate that for you. This was more just to give you a hands-on look at the actual product, um, because from us, we are on the installation side of things. So knowing what the mount looks like, knowing how big the screws are, the lag screw, where we have to install them, what type of material we can install that in, them in was always is always important information for us and that's kind of what i hope to give you with this video when you do go to install it you have this locking plate which allows this piece to not screw past a certain point there's two dimples on it it lines up directly you cannot mess it up uh, and then you just have a little shroud that goes over to make to clean up the end look um, just so it looks nice and professional when you do the installation like I mentioned earlier, it does use a 24 volt uh, PoE injector. It comes with one on each side in the box. Uh, and on the other end of it, for the Wi-Fi, we're running the U6 Pros um, for, which is our standard deployment for almost any network, especially in a commercial environment like this. But that is what we'll be utilizing for that. All right, so like I said, next week we'll have a full installation video of this where I'll go a little more in depth on the setup if that's something you guys would like to see. Um, but we will be running conduit for the entrance and the exit of the building on the barn and the old coop or new wedding venue um, so that we can get internet over there. So make sure you stick around, check out the video next week. If you made it this far in the video, I do appreciate you watching our content. If you have questions or you're ever looking for consulting services, please send us an email. Our contact information is in the description below.